What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minimasters here and today I'm going to show you how to install a sway bar in your truck. So you've probably driven your truck a lot and you've probably noticed when you go to make a turn it tends to be really sloppy. It just flops from one side to the other when you go to take a turn it like nose dives and it's, it's just very ungainly. It's really annoying especially for somebody who's not a seasoned driver of one of these trucks. We get used to it. It's just a thing. But what if there's a world where, when you make a turn, it's just nice and easy. Turns from side to side or around the corner. Well, there is. So a company called Hellwig makes a sway bar kit. This is a sway bar. It is basically one big spring that links one side of your vehicle to the other. So typically, when you have an independent suspension, if you make a turn, this side naturally wants to come up and this side naturally wants to come down and it doesn't always do it evenly. This stiffens it and makes it even and a lot of times restricts it. And that's how you get that nice race car flat side to side, okay? This kit is excellent because it comes with everything you're gonna need. So most importantly, you have your sway bar, you have your bushings and you have everything else you need to mount it to the frame. It comes with very excellent directions and by excellent directions, I mean it's like one or two pictures because this thing's just that easy to put in. One thing you need to know, when you order this, you have to specify whether or not you have a factory cross member or you don't have a factory cross member, okay? If you don't have a factory cross member, they give you an extra piece. What is that factory cross member? Let me show you. So laying down in front of your truck, this piece of steel here, it almost looks like, uh, like a protection piece for your engine, that's your front factory cross member. So in addition to having your piece, that, uh, your engine cradle, which is like your one uh, stiffening support from frame to frame, this is the other piece. If you have this piece, you have the quote unquote factory cross member. And because you have it, it actually already comes with these holes drilled in it on either side, at least mine does. And that's actually where the thing that holds your sway bar bolts into the part that has a bushing. And so the sway bar will run along the front of this and then of course straight back and then tie into your I-beam. So we're gonna get started by first mounting our brackets here and here with our sway bar in it and then we'll work up where it ties into the I-beam. So before we get started, one thing I like to do is lay everything out so I'm not you know, trying to figure things out halfway through install. So here's our U-bolts, each U-bolt end needs a washer. The washers for these, okay, because there's a ton of washers, are actually larger than the ones you're gonna use for your sway bar end links. So that's how you'll make sure you don't get those confused. They'll be double nutted as per the directions. Moving on, we have our U-bolts and supplied bushing. They will have bolts as well as washers per bolt. And then we have a nut per bolt as well as a lock washer. And you can see you have this laid out right there. Moving on to our end links, that's what they're called, sway bar end links, okay? You have to get the sequence right where you'll actually prematurely wear out these bushings and you'll get clanking and stuff like that. It's not difficult, you can actually figure it out. You can also look at the directions. But it's one long bolt, which is your sway bar end link bolt. Then you have a washer, bushing, sway bar, bushing, washer, steel sleeve, washer, bushing, mounting plate, bushing, washer, and then you have a nut and it's a uh, it's got the one with plastic ring so it doesn't uh, back off on you and there's only two of those so that's how you know they belong here okay now there's gonna be some extras in the box don't worry it's just in case you lose something as you can see everything's laid out and everything has a place another reason why I like to do that so you don't get all scared next let's climb under the truck all right, guys, you can see I transferred the sway bar and all the hardware down in front of the truck. For this install, you do not need to jack up the truck. It stays flat and level on the ground, just like you're driving, because that's how the sway bar needs to be set up. Before you get bolting things up, you're going to want to put on your bushings. Before you do that, you're going to want to grease them. The kit comes with a little grease packet, okay? Do not get the stuff on you. I'm wearing these black gloves for a reason. This stuff is a pain in the ass to get off. Okay. If you don't have that, just use lithium grease or some thicker grease and uh, you should be just fine. Without it, the bushings squeak, which is not uh, fun. 
So anyway, there's a little slit in the bushing. It's on the other side, and you just open it up, and you just clamp the uh, bushing right around, slide your U-bolts on, and you're ready to go. So the next step here is you're going to lift the ends of your sway bar, and you're going to put them up over your steering link. Okay. If you try to do it the other way, obviously it will come in contact. This puts the bar in a perfect position to lift it up and line it up with those two holes that you're going to bolt it through. So, as you'd guess, the next step is to lift this up and bolt it into place on both ends. So I'm going to do that and bring you guys back. All right, guys, as you can see, I have the front bolted up. It's not all the way bolted. It's actually kind of loose. Uh, I'll finish bolting up everything. Uh, bolting it up all the way really shouldn't tighten up the sway bar uh, bushing around the sway bar but I want to kind of keep it loose so I can keep moving it forward and backward because now the next step is to set up our U-bolts okay so as you can see the sway bar goes over the steering link as I said it would and your end link comes down to this plate now if you're used to working on these Fords and you have worked on one with a sway bar before from the factory, normally there is a piece that comes right off of here and that's where your end link bolts up for your uh, sway bar from the factory. Now, because these are aftermarket, they're gonna actually have to bolt to the I-beam. So as you can see, we threw the old, the uh, you bolt over the I-beam and then you move the bar side to side until you line it up how you like it. So the next step here is, I'm just gonna push this up like so. And as you can see, it goes right into the holes. And I'm gonna loosely bolt this in place, slide down to the other side, do the same thing, okay? Once both sides are loosely bolted in place, you're gonna to try to line everything up and make sure it's as centered as you can get it, and then you're gonna fully bolt it in place. And that's it. So I'm gonna go do that and bring you back. All right, guys, here you are. Sway bar all installed, bolted in, and torqued in. Just in case you're wondering, the torque specs are on the direction sheet. And uh, follow them as close as you can, because obviously one of them says that the nut that holds the bushings on should be 120 foot-pounds, which is totally not true, but the, the torque is done by the size of the nut, which is not a good idea, but the other, the ones that do the U-bolts, they're 100 apiece. This one you just do until you've crunched on the uh, bushings. These were about uh, 90 a piece. So I, I put a torque stick on that's 80, 85, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna go take it for test drive, let you guys know how it is. Well guys, I am back from my test drive and this truck, I don't even think I'm driving the same truck anymore. It is so flat and tight in a turn, it is unreal. And it's actually fun to take turns at speed again. Remember when you used to slow down because you hate how it flops to the outside when you're making a, you know, a turn? It doesn't do it anymore. With confidence, you'll be able to go right in through the turn. It feels like an entirely different truck. It feels like a new truck. So you saw it was easy putting this thing on, just bolting, no cuts, no welding, nothing. All you have to do is go buy this thing and put it on your truck and you'll thank me later. Speaking of buying a sway bar, this Hellwig kit I purchased from SD Truck Springs. Now, when I ordered the first one, it was backward. It took 40 days for it to come in. When it came in, it was the wrong sway bar. All the mounting hardware was correct. I called customer service, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Oscar at customer service SD Truck Springs. He was amazing. He fixed my entire order. Didn't even send any confirmation emails, nothing. Within a few days, a new sway bar was on my front porch. I haven't even returned the wrong piece they've sent me. They just sent it to me, no extra charge, nothing. Boom, that's what's on this truck right now. It was $260. Right now, they kind of have a sale. So if you want one of these, that's where you gotta go. Otherwise, you gotta go to a junkyard. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Hit the subscribe button over here. Check out some of my other videos over here. A lot of cool stuff, more to come. I'm Steven from the Minimasters. Thanks for watching.